Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the Lip Service Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies Collab project and it was created by Jessica and Amanda. So I filmed this video a week and a half ago and I don't know where the footage went. Like I must have accidentally deleted it off my SIM card because I can't find it. I went to go edit the video and I was like, which SIM card is it on? Cause I have a couple couldn't find it. I must've accidentally deleted it. So I'm having to refilm now I'm going, I already had to take, taken pictures. So I'm going to go by what my photos look like. I'm not going to remeasure anything. And so we're just going to go by that. So no new progress or anything anyway, but the video is obviously going up late. Ugh. So no cats right now, but they may hop in. Ziggy's puff is on the bed. He may decide to grant us with his presence. For this project, I like to work on my high-end lipsticks and I have 10 in at a time. And once I use up a quarter of what is remaining in the bullet, then I roll it out and I roll in a new high-end lipstick. I have a lot of lip products, lipsticks. I do bullet lipsticks. I don't work on like liquid lipsticks or lip glosses or anything like that. I use, I work on my bullet lipsticks. So I have a lot of them. So that is how I work this project. And I've been doing that for years, three years. I think this is my third year at least where I've done that. So anyway, let me share with you how I did this past month. I am able to roll one lip product out. The product I'm able to roll out is the Giorgio Armani De Armani Matte Lipstick in Milano. This took forever. So it is this lipstick here. It's gorgeous. It's just dark for the spring summertime, as you can see. It's pretty dark. That was a terrible swatch. I ended up mixing this with a couple of different lipsticks. I think I used the Urban Decay Sheer Obsessed lipstick mostly towards the end to mix with this. And it was really perfect for that. So happy to roll this one out. Yay. So I only got to roll that one lipstick out. Now, let me tell you how I'm doing on these other products. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in Pillow Talk Medium. And this is a gorgeous lipstick. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I made like consistent progress on this. So that is what that shade looks like there. And I am hoping I can roll this out like next month. I'm hoping, hoping because I am used about half of what I needed to this past month. Now I did kind of misplace this since I filmed originally and then lost the footage. I accidentally put this back in my vanity because I was rummaging around for it in my lipstick bag that I have all of my lip products in that I'm panning. And the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that was in there was not this one. I was like, what, why is this in here? So I haven't even touched this since I filmed, since my, I originally filmed this video. So I don't really have any progress. Anyway, I need to use it. But I'm hoping to have this rolled out by the next update. That is kind of my goal. So the next lip product that I am working on is the Tom Ford Lip Color Matte in the shade Pussycat. And I really do love this lipstick. Love this lipstick so much. It's such a gorgeous shade. And it is that one there. And I did make really great progress on this in the last month. I really hadn't touched it since February. So I used about, again, half of what I needed to use since that time. So I'm making progress on it. This is another one that I really would like to roll out since I've had this since January in this project. So these two are the ones I'm really trying to focus on rolling out because I would like to get them kind of, you know, meet their goal on them and move on to other lip products. Okay, the next lip product is the Bobbi Brown Lip Color in the shade Brownie. And it is this color here. They're, they're all so similar. 
I'm trying to venture out and do some different colors in the spring summer but there we go I do love this color it is more of kind of like that brick leaning shade for me because I can't really do like super bricky colors they just don't look that great on me but I do love this color and I love Bobbi Brown's formula Oh my gosh, I love her lipstick formulas so much. So on this one, I made a little bit of progress. Still, it seems to be consistent on a monthly basis about how much I use on this. So I'm making my way on this. It's been in here since February, but we're, we're making our way. There's, I may, if I do well on using this, I may hit my goal on this, but it's probably still gonna be in here the next month. And maybe I can roll it out after the June update or July. I can roll it out in the July update, right? Yeah. The next product is the MAC Satin Lipstick in K3 Calderon. So this one I am struggling in using and it's not because it's not a beautiful color because it is. It's... It's another one that I kind of want to focus on, like those, the Bobbi Brown, I'm sorry, the Tom Ford and the Charlotte Tilbury. This one more so because it's a little bit dark. And I haven't really made that great a progress on this. I have a long way to go. And I love the color, so... Like, I, it's not that I don't want to mix it, but I kind of don't want to mix it because I love the color so much. And it's not a shade that I can get again. You know what I mean? This is a limited edition lipstick and I don't have a backup of it. And, you know, there's like all these like factors that make me not want to mix it because I want to enjoy the color for what it is. So I don't know, but I love it. I love it. Next up is one of my favorite lipstick formulas. It is by Becca. It is the Becca Ultimate Lipstick in Sorbet. I'm sad these are going away and like they're sold out everywhere now. I haven't checked the Becca website to see if they still have them in stock. Yeah, they still have these in stock on the Becca website. So you still have a place to get them in there, $12. Anyway, this is Sorbet. And this is actually what I'm wearing today. And I love this formula. It's so soft and creamy. You do have to be a bit careful with the bullet because they are soft. As you can see on the back side of this, it it does hit the the back of the of the bullet. So you do have to be careful. They do move around in here, but I don't care because I love the formula. Anyway, with this one, I didn't look like I used it. But I have been using it recently. So like I said, I was focusing on some other lip products. Well, I didn't really say that, but I was focusing on other lip products last month. And so I didn't make as much progress with some of these. And this is one of them that kind of got lost. Okay, the next one up is the Gucci. I think this is just their matte lipstick. Satin lipstick, excuse me. This is the Gucci Satin Lipstick in Painted Veil. And here is the shade. I, when I was filming this last update, I did gouge it with my fingernail. Mmm, I was so mad. So there is that shade. This is definitely a more warm shade than I typically wear, but I still love this color. It's really pretty. And I did make some progress on it, little tiny bit minuscule but progress is progress and I'll take it I still have a while to go on this one though so it'll still be in this project for at least a couple of updates next up is the YSL Rouge Volup Shine in Rose Afrique and it's number 87 and it is the shade here and I have been I've been wearing this a lot especially since I updated this video this is a really great, just throw on your lips, you know, when you need something super quick. I love this. And I did make some progress since my April update. I haven't measured it obviously since then, but 
I would assume that I've made pretty decent progress since then as well because I have been wearing this quite a bit. I do enjoy that. Okay, next up is the, uh, this. I rolled this in last month. This is the Urban Decay Cream Vice Lipstick in Rush. And it is this one here. I somehow made decent progress on this. I have no idea how. And these are like on super sale right now at both Ulta and Sephora. I have no idea like what's going on. They better not be discontinuing these. Better not be. Because I am not, have not pulled the trigger on anything yet. So pretty. I love this. But like I said, I made pretty good progress. And I don't know how that is. Because I don't really feel like I used it a lot. But somehow I did. And then the last one that we had in this project is the Clinique. What is this one? Clinique Pop Lip Color in Love Pop. And it is this one here. And this is a really great, just, again, it's an everyday kind of throw it on your lips, berry shade. It's not dark. It's, uh, it's a great spring berry. I really do love this color. I think it's a great spring berry and I did make some progress on it. So a little bit of progress, but a little bit of progress is better than nothing. So to replace the Giorgio Armani lipstick, I am bringing in a Stila Color Balm lipstick. And this is in the shade Isabel. So it is this shade here. And let me give you a swatch. So this is more pigmented than I thought it would be. So that is what that looks like. It smells pepperminty or minty, but more on the pepperminty side in my opinion. And I really do like the way this feels. I haven't used it yet, but I really do like how that feels. So that is what I decided to roll in. So this is how things are looking right now. I am really hoping to roll these two out by the next update. And I really want to make good progress on the MAC lipstick because I need to, I need to work on this because it is dark, but it's so pretty. Oh. Anyway, so that is my update for the lip service project pan. Hopefully you guys are doing well and enjoying your lip service project. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hey, see you kitty cat. Hi, Marley. What you doing? Hi, Milo. Hey, baby. Hi. Come here. Oh, Mr. Chonkers. Hello. Hello. Hi. He's such a good hugger. Hey, I finally have collarbone. I never used to have a collarbone. Wait. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do it backwards. I never used to have that. In fact, I don't know if I've had that in my entire life. So the product I'm able to roll out is the Giorgio Armani lipstick in, it's the, uh, and maybe I can roll it out, roll it out after. So again, I'm really hoping to roll these two out.